Hi guys, hi dear. So yes, I know I've been really, really quiet. And to be honest, I've been going through a, a lot of crazy things this past month, month and a half. Um, I've really been struggling to deal with emotional stuff and physical stuff. And, and to be honest, it, it it's just getting way too much um nothing is really happening um to change it i've been struggling with i won't say acceptance i've already accepted the fact that i'd most likely be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life um i've accepted the fact that I'll never function normally or whatever normal might be. Um, I'll never be able to be the person that I once was. And it's, it's kind of difficult to stay positive and humble and happy and fake a smile. Um, it's, it's quite tough when no one really understands how it feels or what it is um, and to be honest I, I don't really know how to to be happy um, to force that fake smile out and um, go on with life as if nothing is is wrong and just yesterday I, I just got another setback um, I've been waiting to see the I think she's a orthotist um, but it's not the usual um, guy that I usually see it's this time it was a woman and it felt as if when I saw it, it's like it came down to the fact where she asked me what do I expect her to do or to change and I felt like what the hell you are the trained one um, that studied for I don't know how many years to actually know how to help someone um, or in fact just give a couple of options it felt like we sat there for hours waiting to see this person this I don't know exactly what she is orthotist um, I don't know um, so we waited there for hours to get to a point where we finally can see her um, which was weird because I usually saw the um, the man um, he's been on my journey from the start um, creating my AFOs and all of that so then I had to see this woman and in all honesty it felt like I, I might as well not have even gone to see her. Um, she didn't change anything. She didn't give me options. Um, and the, just the, the, the pure fact that she asked me what do I think she must do that I will benefit from and it was at that moment where I just felt this utmost hatred and anger and to be honest I just wanted to go and bed shit crazy on her I couldn't understand how the audacity 
of asking me what I think she should do that will make my life easier or help my issue with my feet. Um, I did tell her, um, you know, I was for rehab for four months, intense rehabilitation, and that helped a lot. But it feels like at this stage of, in my life, I'm um, like at a plateau where everything just stays as it is now. Um, there's no more progression. It feels like I've reached this point and this is now my other point that I'll be in for the rest of my life, which I know isn't true. I know there is other options. Um, I asked her about an Achilles tendon release or Achilles tendon extension. At this stage, anything that um, will make my feet more flexible, because at this stage, it, it, it feels like my foot, especially the one, is, is like fused in this very awkward position. And they, they call it a, a, um, what a, a contractile in Afrikaans. It's not a contraction. Uh, uh, but it's like the foot just stays in that position because it's, it's like it's locked in that position. And I know it was like that way back in the beginning where there was also a lot of issues with my feet where it's a contracture contraction whatever the fancy word is um and i know it took a lot of work to just get a bit of mobility in that foot and there was a lot more mobility in this flipping foot of mine that i got back in that four months that i was in cape town with intense rehabilitation they got more mobility in the foot. And now I went to saw a so-called specialist, you know, field just to tell me, like, maybe this is not where you can go. It doesn't help we do uh, uh, tendon extension or tendon release because it's a brain injury, which it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know if it's because I don't want it to make sense. Or is it the fact that I don't want to accept the fact that there is no more that can be done? And it is so difficult to stay positive, carry on like nothing is wrong when it feels like everything is coming down on me at one hell of a speed you don't you don't have enough time to miss everything that's falling down on you so this is why i've been so quiet and not really making videos because to be honest i myself don't know what to do anymore um, it is so devastating to be so excited to see a doctor because this was like I've been waiting a couple of months to see this doctor with the hope and expectations that listen yes finally I'm going to see the right person she or he just you know well my luck it's her she'll help me to to fix this issue that I have with my feet. To be so excited for so long and to finally meet her and then it's like, okay, I could have just as well not seen her. It will, see her, it will be the same outcome. It felt like she, she doesn't really want to help um which is heart-wrenching because i need the help 
I've been progressing from the start. I've, I've made leaps and bounds to where people, um, qualified people, told me I'd never do certain stuff and I am doing it now and I'm continuing to to progress and then get to a person where you think okay Jesse she can help me now now it's going to go forward this thing can be fixed now I'm seeing the right people just for your bubble to be burst so it feels as if I'm back to square one it brings back so many memories and expectations that was basically burned to shreds and being back to a space where okay now we wait again and I do feel there is ways to mobilize my feet i do and I, I know there is it's just to find the correct person um and i don't know why it's not happening and i'm getting so frustrated and angry because i didn't ask for this but yet here we are so that's why I've been quiet, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff and this page is not just about, it's supposed to be about negativity but when it comes down on you like a storm out of hell that you didn't see coming, that which you actually expect the complete opposite, it really makes it difficult to to stay positive and hopeful and work through it and, and look for alternative things that might help. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today and explain why I'm being so quiet and not making videos. It's not that I forgot about you guys, it's just I've been going through some really tough, th tough times and things this last couple of months. And it's like nothing is working out. Nothing I'm trying is working and working out. Nothing I'm doing is working out. It's it's like a whole snowball effect. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Again, sorry that I haven't been making videos. I will be uploading more videos more often. Thank you so so much for watching this video and listening to my sub stories i really do appreciate it and if you're not yet subscribed please go down and subscribe it does help a lot it helps with the um youtube algorithms as well and basically it's just helping to build my channel and share my story and thoughts and opinions on certain stuff that is basically wheelchair bound you guys must have an awesome day and remember, hashtag donkeys is father's love, Heidi.